So to do custom development with the BuddyBus app, BuddyBus requires that you provide a GitHub repository. So if you have the custom development license, if you log into your BuddyBus account area and go to apps, now, once you come to apps, you go ahead and click manage. Now on manage, you are going to provide a, Git, a, a, a GitHub repository URL to BuddyBoss and an access token. And then of course you can use GitLab or GitHub. So let me show you how to set up your GitHub account. So here we are in GitHub. What you need to do now is to create a repository. So I'll go ahead, new repository, and I'll call this my BuddyBus app. Now you can go ahead and make this public if you want, but I will recommend that you make it private because it contains, uh, it's gonna contain your, your Blockly authentication key, and so you don't want that to be exposed to the public. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this private. And that's about it. And then I'll go ahead and click create repository. Now that my repository is created, the next thing you want to do is upload the files that we provided you in your Blockly app kit. So before you do that, just go ahead here in order to create a branch, go ahead and create, click create a new file. And I'll call this file anything, just call it, uh, index.js and scroll down and click commit new file. Now this is not really necessary, but the reason why I'm showing you this is because some of you might have difficulty figuring out how to create a branch. So GitHub requires that you have to have a branch in your repository in order for you to upload any files to it. So once you create that file the way I did it, your branch is going to automatically show up. And once it shows up, then go ahead and just delete this file. So to delete this file, I'm going to click here and delete. Click commit changes. Now you have your main branch, right? So the next thing now is to upload the kit, the app kit that was provided to you by Blockly when you purchased your license. So I'm gonna go into that folder and I'm gonna open that up. So you can see here, the index file, index.js file, everything is here. So I'm gonna select all of these and just drag it in here. Wait for that to upload. And once it's done uploading, you can give this a, make some type of statement for the commit. It's not necessary, but you could say, Uploaded startup files locally and then commit the change. Now it's processing. Once that is done, it's all set. The next step is for you to now enter your Blockly app authentication code. So you go ahead here and click on index.js. Now you can see in here. Everything you need to run Blockly is already in here for you. The only thing you need to do is to simply change these app, this authentication key here. Now we've provided you an authentication key. So just go ahead and copy that and replace what is within this quotation. Remember, leave the quotation intact. So just take this off. And to do that, of course, you need to click on this pencil icon here to make this file editable. So now you can edit this. So what you now need to do is come here, select this, and then paste your code. And once you do that, you go ahead and commit changes. Now I didn't make actually make any change here. Let's just let's turn us if I made a change. All right, so I'll call this added Blockly token and then I'll commit. And now you're done with this, you're all set. This is ready 
So what you now need to do is you need to go ahead and copy the URL of this GitHub repository and go and give that to BodyBus as well as your access key. I'm also going to show you how to create an access key in GitHub. To do that, you're going to quickly go into your account area in your profile. You're going to go to settings and then you jump down to developer settings and then personal access tokens. Now from here, you go ahead and click generate new token. Of course, it's asking me to sign in. So now I'm signed in and then you go ahead and give your token a name. I'll call this Body Boss. Add token and set this to no expiration. You don't want your assets token to expire. You go ahead and check this one repo. That's the only one you need to check here. And then you go down and you click generate token. So I'm going to go ahead and click generate token. Now that is going to generate my assets token and I'm going to copy this. We're going to go back to my body bus account area and I'm going to enter that assets token right here. The next thing you need also is your GitHub repo URL. So let's go back to my repositories and go back to my body bus app and click right here, click on SSH and then copy this SSH URL. Go back to your body bus account and place that SSH URL right here. And once you do that, you click update and BodyBus will connect with your GitHub repository. And once BodyBus connects with your GitHub repository, you can now go back to your website. Once you're back to your website, go ahead and click on configure and then scroll down here. You're going to see custom Git branches. Now, the branches that are in your GitHub repository are going to show up here because BodyBus will dynamically fetch that branch because you have already given BodyBus your GitHub repository URL and an access token. So go ahead. Of course, you want to first of all create a test app before you go ahead and publish a release app. You want to create a test app to test things out. So you come here, you select your main branch or whatever branch is appropriate in your case. And then for the core app branches, go ahead and select production block link. So BodyBuzz has created a dedicated branch for Blockly customers, which is a combination of Blockly custom code as well as BodyBuzz app code base. So you go ahead and select production and then go to build and generate your test app. When you're ready to generate your release app, you're going to come back here and for release, you make sure you select the correct branch in this case, main. And then for your release app in the core app section, you also select production blockly and then go ahead and build your app. So I'm going to build my app and when I come back, I'm going to show you what it looks like in the app.